What's going on everybody? It's Jesse with a video today just seeing how much stuff can I pack into the bag of holding. The bag of holding is a messenger bag as you can see. It's got the over the shoulder strap right here that is exclusive to thinkgeek.com. It uh, is relatively inexpensive for the, uh, the value of the bag. I think it runs from $50 to $60 and you can also get it in a backpack variant. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I know a lot of my viewers are probably in high school like I am and uh, you know you get to the point where your backpack just doesn't do the job, you know you have too many books, uh, if you're like me you don't have a locker and so it was time to upgrade things. This is actually my outgoing backpack right here, let me see if I can. Uh, as you can see, I can't even get it to close now. The only reason that I used this for an extended period of time was because it had a laptop compartment. So I'm basically going to be unloading this backpack into the bag of holding in this video and seeing if uh, the bag of holding lives up to its expectations. So to begin, I'll just do sort of a rundown of all the pockets on the bag of holding. Let's see if I can zoom in here some more. Alright, so on the front we have a nice zipper. And the zippers are all very large and seem very sturdy, so those will be good for a while. <clears throat> you have two magnets that hold the bag uh, closed right here, which uh, does open up to the main compartment. So on the front we have another pocket for pins, pencils, cell phones, maybe chargers and cables. We have a medium sized pocket for I guess books, papers, whatever it may be. And then we have the large pocket. Very big and it can, it can expand to a very large amount and it has another small pocket in here that you could use for maybe tablets. Finally on the back we have another pocket as well as a laptop container right there which I believe can hold up to a 17 inch maybe. I'm not sure but it'll definitely fit most laptops I can tell. Uh, just from looking at it. First thing I'll be putting in here is a uh, AP World Civ book. Very large. Maybe I can fit it that way and fit two. No, I think I'll just put it in sideways. The next is an AP Psychology book, about an inch thick. Next we have a five subject notebook. It's already getting pretty large. Right here we've got a big math binder in one inch thick. Here we've got a very large uh, binder. It's still one inch thick but it's packed to the brim. And this is only halfway through the school year too. So that is about it for the first pocket, I believe. Yeah, so now I'll move on to the second one. One more binder could probably fit right here. Well, no it can't. Let me see if I can squeeze it in here. And surprisingly, that fits. So that is, I believe, three large binders two huge textbooks and a five star notebook in the first pocket. Let's see if I can zip this up. And let's see. So it's a little bit tight but it did zip up pretty fine. All right. Next we have the small pocket, or the medium pocket, and I just got some papers to go in there. So that's what that seems as if that is for, this is for. Uh, papers fit very nice in there. I'm sure you could fit a uh, notebook or two as well. Not too sure about binders though, as you saw earlier. So in this front pocket, we just have some spots for 
pins that I'm going to slide right in there. My 2 gig SD card I will put right here. Let's say I want to put some gum in this pocket or in this pocket. And finally, a wallet. So that can all fit nice in the first pocket. And as I said, that is secured with a magnet. And it's a pretty strong magnet. So now, turning the bag around, we've got one more pocket, which I won't be using. And finally, the laptop compartment. So I do have a 13 inch MacBook Pro that fits right in very nicely you definitely got padding in the front to keep it protected and it zips up fairly well so there is the view that is how big it can get and it may even be able to expand a little more with the right adjustments so that is all that I've got for this video thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe for more tech related videos I'll see you guys next